Mike Gill, State of Corruption. Somehow, I've got to explain to you of the importance of what I'm going to tell you and exactly where we are. I need you to understand what can be achieved here and now. The President has my evidence on his desk. Right? So let's start our investigation. What makes this so dangerous is that it's this simple. Except for it took years to move and gather this evidence, these witnesses, move them in place, which is why I was in Washington with the Department of Justice, with U.S. Attorney Durham, with certain senators and congressmen. This evidence is out there and it's owned. Okay. Now, we had an opportunity of exposure. So you know what the cartel loves? And this deep state and corruption? They love photo ops. They love it when newspapers call them businessmen of the year. The same newspaper who breaks the story about a drug dealer. Hatch. will explain. But they were covering for them too. Listen. When they give you an inch, they're hiding a mile. All right, so let's work together. Now, how did I know that plane was going to stop? No one else did. In fact, for two weeks, no one said anything else. I told you it was drugs. I told you a cartel. Their own newspapers gave you a drug dealer. All right, so let's take a look at that drug dealer. Hatch. Got caught two years ago. Trafficking fentanyl across state lines. That's a guy you arrest. It's not somebody that keeps his job at Granite State Recovery, the largest, the fastest growing recovery center in all of New England. That means business is good, right? That means people are dying. More people are getting addicted. Right. Business is wonderful. Now, why are we having him counsel addicts? Why are we having him during this whole interim going to schools and talking to students and athletes about the evil of drugs when he's selling it to them? Tell me when this starts to get obscene. Okay? Hatch. This is a good starting place. He's campaigning for Gene Shaheen. Right. He's not only the face of recovery for Granite State and the cover for a cartel, He's such a good cover, she wants to use him too. Don't forget, she protects the same entity. Now they all run away as soon as they give him up. They only gave him up because they had to give you drugs. They didn't want to give you a cartel. But now, Mr. President, you've got the evidence. Let's keep walking. You know those couple weeks you needed to assess? Don't worry, I get it. How deep does it go? Who gets hurt? Well, I would want you to remind you who might just get saved, you know, like the rest of us. So think about this in your assessment. This doesn't make sense. All of a sudden, we're looking at the picture, this guy's off in five days, he's in jail, bullshit. Okay, ready, Mr. President? Who did he work for? Grand State Recovery. Let's take a look at them. Uh oh, it's a limited corporation. Right. And its agent is this guy, too. Right. Who works with Agonos for in Nixon and Peabody, who's leveraging me. Oh, so there's an Anagos connection with me. And this lawyer, too. This practice is, this gives hard evidence about the drug dealers okay. and sponsoring it. You see? These are the offenses. Now, we've got a court case. You don't know about the court case with Anagos, Cruz? No. Did you know that they were the biggest drug dealers in New England? Is, is that in here? It is in there. Okay. So what would you like me to do? We've got 45 witnesses that need protection. Okay. That we're in court right now with Judge Delker in Brentwood. Okay. We need the protection. You're going to see text messages in there. Okay. Deliveries from Boston, in the Lawrence, okay. in the Salem, moved by motorcycle. Okay.
well, there's more than that, Mr. President. You're going to love the rest of this. So not only did we just catch the drug cartel, let's move with Agonos. And you know what you're going to find? He is the director of primary bank, the drug bank. You're going to love this. He met with your buddy, Jeb Bush, in an interview. And in this interview with Griner, the launderer for the cartel, and Agonos, you find out that this is the only bank in this country, in all 13,000 cities, towns across this country, this is the only bank opened in eight years. Now, isn't that a curiosity? Shouldn't we be asking the question why? Because if you did, it's because it's a drug bank and they launder and protect their own money. Okay? Well, let's take a look. Who's the director of primary? Dick Akinos. Well, wait a minute. You ready? You know who the director is? Toop! Mergers and acquisitions. He's part of the drug bank, too. He's a director, so is Agonos. Who's the president? Who's the vice president? Who's the chair? Cruz and Griner. The faces and the launderers of the same drug cartel. We're all here. Remember the picture of Hope Treatment Center? Well, they're all right here again. Now, all four of them. See, you just found their money. And with their money, you can build a wall. You can take the money from the drug cartels and the corruption. You know, that deep state corruption. They didn't want you to build a wall. Well, you're going to help. You're going to be able to use their money, too. Shaheen's money is in that bank. Just as the drug cartels needs protection and cover for their money and laundering, so do the corrupt. Okay, now. Who, next step, we got their money, we found their network, we know where it is. Now let's go on. Next step, right? Drug dealer, cartel, we got their bank now. Now who is protecting the banks? Banks get audited by a banking commission. You remember that video, Keys to the Vault? I told you how to get their money. I told you Commissioner Little is corrupt. He's taking orders from Sununu. Turned out Sununu hijacked a lake, an election by hijacking their money, and I caught him in the hijack. You've seen me interview. You've seen me give him evidence. I showed you the text message that said he leveraged these people. Now, they're corrupt fiends, and all they're doing is jockeying for power. Nobody's protecting you. Republicans, Democrats, they're just finding out and fighting to see who gets a bigger piece of the corrupt pie. All right. So now, let's see here, we got the banking department, we got little talking, we find out that Shaheen has been controlling this banking department for years, with his wife as the governor, and has Hassan as the governor after her. It was that. They did run Ponzi scheme. They are laundering the money. It's part of what he sells. Now, he represents a network of these law firms who've infiltrated your AG's office, who is the entity protecting banking department, the DRA, the corruption in their courts. Most of the judges that are corrupt at the highest level in this organization come out of that AG's office. The drug judges, Tucker and Delker, AG's, right. See, now you're getting it. But you've got Shaheen, because when you go through all these cartels, you're going to see that Shaheen's a partner. He's part of the owner of these pain clinics, too. You're going to discover this, so you're going to have Bill Shaheen and Gene Shaheen. So keep assessing, Mr. President. We just walked through the cartel. We just found their money. We found the network that protects and launders it. Now we have this network, and we know the head of this deep state. Bill Shaheen's an arm length away from Clinton as her former campaign manager leading fundraiser in the country, super delegate. Gene Shaheen is at the peak of this deep state. They are what trying to get you impeached. You know why? Because if you don't go impeached, you put them in a position to take them all out. With, with exactly the evidence I'm giving you here and now. This is the means. This is the proof, evidence, and the witnesses. There's no question. We just stepped through this. And now we're already at Gene Shaheen. Now you ready? 
with the evidence that I've given to the FBI and the IRS. It incriminates Shaheen, which is why he's on a $50 million settlement offer. It proves that as he was previously the U.S. attorney prosecuting the cases, along with his partner Steve Gordon for the FBI, that relationship has never ended in all these years. He has used the FBI and the FBI has invested in him in, in the corruption and the protection of this drug cartel and this actual network. The FBI has all my evidence. You will see a photograph of the U.S. Attorney Lullen with an inventory list. People, that's leverage. You prove this. You prove the FBI in their own words. And I will be moving that piece. But I have it. Murder for hire. Murder attempts, extortion, corruption, mail fraud, fraud with the IRS, and the largest drug cartel, what has to be in this country, in the billions. You own it, you have it, now we've proved that you've had it, you've did nothing. Now explain to me how you're not guilty of treason. See, think about this now, Mr. President. We're an arm length away from Clinton. We've just proved that the FBI are guilty of treason, which is what you said, and which is what's by their part of this deep state, and tried to get you impeached. Listen, there isn't a hair out of place here. Now the IRS, you'll love this, on tape, their own criminal division, wanting me to take that 50 million. The IRS was on that settlement offer. Instead, their criminal division put up a cover-up, brought in their own account to intercept my mail. We got them at the grace of God on a recording, said they had a mole. They are done. The I, which is why I have a case number. We haven't had a case number in all these years. You know why we got a case number? Because they're in, they read the board. They understand what I'm doing. They're not sure what you're going to do, but just in case, they just gave themselves the parachute. They were going to investigate the own criminality of themselves. What you're going to find out is that it was headed by Senator Gene Shaheen, who has targeted many enemies, particularly Republican enemies, and has been cited for it several times. You are going to get that involvement. The deep state used the FBI and the IRS. The whole network of corruption that is a format, that is a perfect in design and implementation, they have blocked every exit why none of you people can find help. And we've just exposed them. The President of the United States has this evidence. Do not let them make you think that he doesn't. Because that's what stopped that plane. That's what's given him time to think. And A.G. Barr and U.S. Attorney Durham, you are my witnesses that the President has that evidence because it would have been you, only you, with the power to tell that president and him to stop that plane immediately. It wasn't a local cop, it was the attorney general and the U.S. attorney investigating the deep state. That's who made that decision, which also means that evidence is still on your desk. And the problem's in New Hampshire, as you said, and it is. And it's the model of what the problem is across this country. It gets the IRS, DEA, FBI on a federal basis gets into the deep state of this country and you know something if you put these rats in a bad place You might be surprised what they tell you